Hey everyone, Pat Armstrong here. And uh, before I do anything else, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you who have been watching my videos. We have been through a month now. I have done four new videos this last month on our increase topic, whether it be increased mentally, physically, spiritually, or socially. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to try to tackle some of these topics more specifically. And uh, But before we do that, Again, I just want to say a big thank you uh, for you that have watched the videos, for you that have responded uh, with a criticism, um, with a compliment, with a word of encouragement, whatever the case may be. Um, I just really, really appreciate that. And uh, so there's just a few things that I would ask that you do if you haven't done so already. Uh, when you watch these videos and if you enjoy them, if you would please give me a thumbs up and not just on Facebook, but if you would actually do it on the YouTube channel as well, and that would be greatly appreciated. Number two, if you haven't already done so, I ask that you would actually subscribe to my YouTube channel, Increase. And you can do that down there below the video as well. And then the third thing, if you haven't done so, uh, whether it be in this corner, in this corner, looking at the video camera, I'm not sure which one's the left-hand corner of your screen, but there is a bell. And then if you will actually ring that bell and what that will make sure is that any of the videos in the future will be sent directly to you. And then the final thing that I would ask you to do, if you know anyone that might benefit from the information on these videos, uh, or they might find them entertaining or, or whatever the case may be, uh, if you would please just pass these on to them. And uh, if I can help anyone uh, with the information that's provided here, um, I would greatly appreciate that as well. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get into today's topic. Okay, for today's topic, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and visit about growing or increasing mentally uh, through books. And I don't know if many people realize this, but the information that you can get from a book is not just something to help you grow mentally, which hopefully it will, but it'll also help you in regard to some of those other topics that we cover. Uh, you can get great information from books on how to grow physically, um, how to grow spiritually, and how to grow socially. And so today what I'd like to do, I just wanna share with you, I tried to limit it to five, but there was no way that I could do that. And so I just wanted to give you, again, I almost said it five, but now I'm just gonna give you a few books that I have read through the years that have become some of my favorites and that I feel like have really influenced me as a person. And you say, well, Pat, why these specific books? Books that you go back and revisit again and again, obviously there's something in that book that means something to you. And uh, so I would like to share this with you today. And then also I'm going to put links in the description of this video so that if you choose to do so, that you could purchase these books through Amazon or the different links uh, that I give you there. But first of all, the first book um, that I want to share with you, and I think for some of you, you already know where I'm going to go, and it goes without saying, is my Bible. And, uh, and I say my Bible, this is one of many uh, Bibles that I am fortunate to have. Uh, this one here was given to me by my in-laws the December of 1990, uh, six months before I married Bonnie, my wife. And uh, they gave this to me as a Christmas gift. And uh, I still have it, and I'm in the process of reading through it right now. And uh, let me say this about the Bible, and for you that do like to read, or maybe even those that you don't care to read, and I know I'm going to get some criticism on this because um, some people are going to ask, well, Pat, what kind of Bible do you like or what's your favorite Bible? Well, honestly, my favorite Bible is a red Bible and, uh, and a lived Bible. Um, when I say red, I'm not talking R-E-D. I'm talking R-E-A-D and uh, one that someone will read and live by the principles in it. And I'm this one here happens to be a King James Bible, but I'm not a King James only person again. I'm for the person and I'm for the Bible that someone's going to read and live the principles in there. I know my father-in-law, again, the one that gave me this Bible, when he first started getting into reading the Bible, he had a living Bible. 
It's not a translation, it's a paraphrase. But I'll tell you, that taught him so much that he got to the point where he had many different translations as well. And uh, so again, if that's the best you can do and you get a living Bible, read it, read it, read it. And you can, well, oh man, the Bible is so boring. It doesn't apply to me today. And I'll tell you, there is nothing in here. And I've said this before. There's nothing in here that you go through today in your life that can't be answered in here. But also, let me tell you this. You like fiction? There's fiction in here. If you like romance, there's romance in here. If you like bromance, there's bromance in here. I mean, there you like uh, erotica. Guess what? There's erotica in here. There's war. There's uh, all kinds of stuff in this one volume. If you've never read this, you do not know what you're missing. Another book, one that's a favorite of mine. This is one of the books I got a few years ago when I really started getting into more into fashion and things. It's Nordstrom's Guide to Men's Everyday Dressing. And I'm wiping off the dust here because it's a little dusty uh, from just sitting on the shelf. But I actually still refer to this book quite a bit. And what I like about this is if you go in here, let's say that you're wanting to wear a pair of shorts, but you're not sure what kind of shirt that you would wear with your shorts, it'll show you. Or if you're wearing a certain outfit, but you're not sure what kind of shoes that you should wear with that outfit, it's in here. Um, you got a pair of jeans that you want to wear, but what kind of shirt? Again, it's in here. This is a great reference, men and ladies, for your men uh, that you can get. Again, sometimes you just... I don't know what I should wear with this. Here's a great guide. So every one of you men ought to have one of these, the Nordstrom's Guide to Men's Everyday Dressing. Peak Performance Principles for High Achievers by John No. John No wrote this book after he uh, climbed the Matterhorn in the Swiss Alps. And uh, one of his hobbies is mountain climbing. And he wrote this book uh, again, based on his experience in the uh, climbing the Matterhorn. And I'll tell you, this book uh, has changed my perspective on a lot of things as far as trying to achieve things. Uh, I have actually preached sermons based on the principles in this book. Uh, for you that are, you like PMA books, positive mental attitude books, uh, things like that, this is one of those, if you do not already have it, you need to read and put this on your shelf. Fantastic book. Peak Performance Principles by John uh, No. The next book, actually the next two books, um, are from a series of books called The Sackets. And I know some of you would be familiar with this author. Um, his name is Louis Moore. Louis Moore is no longer with us. Louis Moore passed away back in the, I think, early to mid-80s. Um, but he is mainly known as a Western writer, and he's written well over a hundred different books. And uh, to me, his best books are his uh, historical fiction novels. And in my hand here, I actually have two of those, and these are the first two books in the series on the Sackett family that's written by Louis L'Amour. Now, this is actually where it all began. This is a book about Barnabas Sackett coming from England into the New World. And then this is the second part of his story. Um, I forget how many Sackett books there are all together, but there's quite a few. But these two, of all hundred plus Louis Moore books that he's ever written, these are my two favorites. I honestly have lost count how many times I have read these two books. But if you like great historical fiction novels, you need to get Sackett's Land and To the, to the Far Blue Mountains by Louis Moore, the story of Barnabas Sackett. For the pastors that might be watching this or you that work in church ministry, here are two books that I think uh, every pastor should have. Uh, one of them I don't have with me. The one I don't have is from a traditional pastor who palace or pat palace pastored the first baptist church of dallas for over 50 years and he's now in heaven he's no longer with us but that is a man by the name of c uh, d.a criswell and uh, criswell was the pastor there at first baptist church of dallas and he put together uh, 
a book entitled Criswell's Guidebook for Pastors. It was actually a textbook of mine uh, from when I was in college. And uh, But I'll tell you this, more than any other book in the time that I was pastoring that I refer back to besides my Bible was Criswell's Guidebook for Pastors. And again, I recommend pastors, uh, even lay workers in churches, um, youth pastors, associates, whatever, get a copy of Criswell's Guidebook for Pastors. Every pastor, every church worker should have a copy of that book. The other one I think every pastor should have, and again, this one here is, uh, the first one was more traditional. This one's definitely more contemporary. And I will say this, I heard this said years ago, and I'm not sure who was the one that actually made the statement, but I have tried to live up to this and say that every man is my teacher. And, uh, and I have read some books that, um, that I probably will never ever read again, but you can still learn things from other people, people you don't like, even if it's what not to do. And uh, so, but I'm not saying about this book, I just know the reason why I'm prefacing before I show this book, because again, I know this is one of those things I'm gonna get some heat for, some criticism for, um, but every pastor should have a copy of Rick Warren's The Purpose Driven Church. And uh, the reason why, this gives the story of how God used Rick Warren to start Saddleback Church out in California. And uh, again, a lot of his methods are, are, are far from traditional. A lot of them, uh, a lot of people just don't like Rick Warren, but God has done a great work uh, through this man and through Saddleback Church. And again, there's a lot of things that pastors and church workers can glean from this book. And I think every pastor should have a copy of The Purpose Driven Church by Rick Warren. The next one, again, is one book, but it's probably more the emphasis on the author that I really like. Um, the author has been called the Stephen King of Christian fiction, and uh, his name is Frank Peretti. The book by Frank Peretti that I love and I can relate to uh, a lot, it's a fiction book, it, it, but I, I can relate to the story in this um, in more ways than one, but the book is called The Visitation. And uh, this book is actually about a man who shows up in this small town who resembles what we know as what Jesus looks like today. Uh, long hair, mustache and beard, and he comes to this town and he is doing these miracles that no one can explain. And uh, I don't want to give any more away than that, but you get an opportunity, find The Visitation by Frank Peretti. Remember, every book I'm showing you, I'm putting a link down below this video in the description here, that you can go to Amazon or to a certain website and you can find these books. And I recommend that you get them. But this one here, um, is my favorite out of all of the Frank Peretti books that I have. And I've got almost every one of his books. Probably his most familiar books that most people maybe don't remember the name of the author, but you might be familiar with these books, is This Present Darkness and Piercing the Darkness. These were the books that actually put uh, Frank Peretti on the map as far as a fiction writer. And again, uh, these books too are fantastic. These probably have to be number two and number three behind the visitation as far um, as Frank Peretti's writings go. And uh, so again, anything you can get by Frank Peretti, um, I recommend that you do that. And then finally, the last book, and I did not show these in any particular order, except of course my Bible. My Bible is going to come first. Um, but here's a book, and you're going to laugh probably when you see this. This is the way I received it, because for the longest time, this book was out of print. Uh, and you know, like I said, I want hardcover books, but this book is How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling by Frank Betcher. And for you that are in business, especially if you're in sales, I recommend that you find a copy of this book. Like I said, for the longest time it was out of print, but I believe it has, been, has come back into print again. The principles that Frank gives in this, as far as for selling, 
as far as organization, as far as your calendar. And again, Frank's gone. Frank's been gone a long time. This book is old. But you find this book, like I said, especially if you are in sales. You need to find this book and you need to read this. You need to study this. This is the best book I've ever read on sales. And you need to get this. Um, again, I, I'm not in direct sales anymore like I was once before, but I still refer to this book because the information in here is fantastic. So anyway, I just wanted to give you, and I'm sorry this video is a little longer than what I promised before, and I'm still going to do some editing on it to get it cut down. But I wanted to share with you some of the books that I have read in the past and that I still refer to that have changed me in one way or another. And uh, even those fiction books, I mean, you know, sometimes you just need to get a book that you can just, uh, you know, just sigh through and read and just for the enjoyment of it, not necessarily purposely to learn anything, even though you can still learn a lot of things from fiction books as well. Um, but more, you just need sometimes just, uh, just to be entertained or to, to be, uh, uh, just to relax a little bit before you go back. Uh, to some of those more serious topics. So again, uh, just some of those books. I hope you enjoyed that. I ask you to do this for me. If you've got any books that you have read that are on your favorites list, put them in the comments or send me a, a message. And uh, if I haven't already read them, I would love to read those. And uh, so do that for me. And I'll see you on the next video.